bit, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm losing my boner. Just gonna scroll through my Instagram. All right, Why we're live, bitches. Shoot. Welcome back to the motherfucking Go Deeper Podcast, ladies Welcome and ladies, because we got nothing but a bunch of bitches. <laughs> Because we slack like motherfuckers. Yeah, welcome. Dude, this is the first episode where we come back and we're like, oh, man, we're stronger than ever. We're not going to miss yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We're Three not weeks miss later. It. Three weeks later. Yeah. Here's Gosh. the thing, though. We have to start off with. Uh, well, this, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. It's life. You already cracked it. Fuck, dude. Look at you, this you premature know me. ejaculation. You know me. You see, yeah. As soon as it got in front of me, I cracked it. So it was, I don't is. wait for a motherfucking microphone. You put a timer on me. A, a week gone, but your wife can. Cause what time is it? King Crispy. <laughs> it's crispy. No. You, you, uh, just, you just get. You just gave me your fucking thumbnail. I just hope you know that. <laughs> Did I? Yes, sir. Good shit. <clears throat> so what were you saying? You're constipated and you're gonna shit out your mouth or something like that? What were you? Yeah. So it's a like. like <laughs> yeah, I read so this. Uh, <laughs> let me get no, into this. No, I'm not. I'm not. And but, this is uh, how we start. No, like I I read this whole thing about you know being constipated and all that shit. And how, like, if you don't shit for long enough, it backs up in your system to the point where it you'll start, like, you'll get an upset stomach every, like, before you even eat or any time. And you'll actually throw up shit. I mean, it's, it's just one So line. just shit comes out your mouth? Shit will come out of your mouth. If you, have to, mean, if you have to guess, how long do you think that, like, how long of you not taking a shit? Bro, I think that days? really depends on the person. Because my shits are huge, dude. And I've also heard that so. we got miles and miles of intestines. <laughs> right. Like, somebody said that miles. it's a so miles out. of shit, dude. So miles Dang, of shit. Dude. I don't yeah, think that yeah. ever happened, though. I, I mean. At one point, you're just dead. But, uh, yeah. Dead and full of shit. Nope. Yeah. They are hoppy for a pilsner. I told you. They are crispy. King. Yep. They're not bad, crispy. though. Yep. They're not bad. Crispy creams. And what are they called? King Krispies. Oh, and look, crispy they have Kings. a King Crispy on the back. It looks like if a fucking brave it, yeah. little toaster. It's a little crispy toaster. Yeah. He's fucking crispy. <sighs> it tastes like it should be stronger than it is. It's 4.8. Well, what we're talking about. 4.8. Not, not getting IPAs. and I know. We got, we're got. we like, yeah. oh, let's yeah. get a Pilsner. It'll taste better. Hot. Yeah. And then <laughs> it's like hoppy and I'm all burping it in my throat. and It's great. Um, I mean. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad. It's all right. It's all right. It, it'll get you drunk. That's the thing. Uh, that's the thing. If it'll, it'll get, get you drunk, drunk. Yeah. Matt, turn around and click on the on air thing. I oh totally shit, we are it. on air. We're on air, so we got to make sure the motherfucking clicker is on air, and oh. we're good. Are we glowing? Are, are we, we glowing? glowing? I didn't even look. We're glowing look. and delicious. Because if that shit is not on, then the episode is not valid. So we got to make sure yeah. the motherfucking the on air sign. Because if we don't on. put that on, then then Mondo won't record audio or it's recording, bitch. Heard about Listen that. to this. <laughs> there it is. Fucking we clapping. On. We clapping. Motherfucker. Looking Father. for that fly still? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that motherfucking fly. Oh, fuck that you fly. got him, bro. I did. Yeah, you did. did. Finally. I think we all hit him once. Didn't we all hit him once? Yeah, yeah I got close. Yeah, yeah. You, you, I thought you for sure got him when you were over here. Oh, I hit him, but I, I, I think he only I clipped him. And Yancey, when he hit him, hat. too, when Yancey hit him, he didn't he didn't die, but his fly was just, yeah, bro. Yeah. He grounded him. And then you stomped him. Dinger. So technically, you killed him. Oh, yeah. So I'll take that. Fucking murder. I'll take that credit. Fucking murder. God damn it. Anyways, guys, special guest with us today, my good buddy, Yancy YG Gonzalez. My yes, book, we go back, dude, uh, how far do we go back? Middle school, we were, uh, what, neighbors? We were in, like, yeah, same street. -ish. Same street. Same street. Dude, we go back way back, like, a like, couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, great. you too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fucking great. Good, great yeah. history right great there. Great history. Everything's yeah. documented. Yeah. You don't need much more than that. <laughs> you know, it's just. Bro, me and this fool. Yeah, we had some good time. We we you know what? He's not a, a big fisherman, but we got a couple. We went fishing a couple times and stuff. Yeah, I like how you brought me into the beer already. Sorry. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah you guys are talking fishing. Sweet. Everybody's doubled up. Yeah, yeah. We went to the trout farm. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. Eh, but then still fishing. Here's the thing, though. Catch we also no. We've, we've, we've gone to we've gone a few times. Yeah, we've gone yeah. a few hag times. Lake. Place. We've gone to hag. He's funny story. He was the first one. Remember my red boat? My red boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Him and George were the first ones ever in my the, boat. The leaky boat. Shut the the one that we brought over to my boat. house that was fucking leaking. <laughs> yes. And as you were like, "Can you repair this?" And I was like, "No, that shit's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get another boat." That's what happened. That's yeah. what literally what happened. Hey, yeah. it was it, it was good while it lasted. And, yeah, and yeah. here's the thing, though. We went fishing a lot of times. Well, that's what people thought. Oh, and we were wetting worms, but yeah. 
Not with each other. I should have fucking uh, this. Dude. I should have Whatever you little. guys do <laughs> when you guys are together. <laughs> what, we're talking about at, in the woods at Hag Lake or wherever <laughs> you guys were at, dude. De la verga. Hey, fucking, is that yeah. the, that lake that you talked about with that family that drowned? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is that Hag? Hag. Oh, yeah. It fit. A lot of people have drowned. Here's the thing. Yeah, it yeah. was a fucking domo of, domino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so the, the, the kid fell the, in. The kid yeah. fell in. So like and the, then the, the grandpa fell in. No, no. I thought it was the dad. Dad, the dad jumped in. Kid. Dad, mom, and kid. So it was like the kid fell in, and then the dad went after the. But they the never found kid. the dad. I heard something about that. They yeah, never yeah. Left. They that, never that's found the dad. what I heard. They I eventually, they eventually did. They did. Yeah. Uh, Just like the lady who down drowned there. I think what was it last year, or the year before, and they found her body up by the dock. Ah. Uh, yeah. That was yeah. a hag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by you, the man. sea ramp, right at the sea ramp. If you guys don't yeah. know how to swim, fucking wear a jimmy. Yeah, Hag's a Hag's a dangerous one too because it has these fucking drop offs. That's how that kid started drowning, because they were out swimming and you're good and you're good and you're good and, and then this fucking them. drops out. The bottom just drops out from you. If you look at that dra- that lake when it's down, yeah. it has these fucking walls. Yeah. And even if it's like three feet, three feet's when you're waist deep. That's, if you're if you're this you deep know, and then you drop three feet, yeah, it's over your head. You're and if you dead. can't swim. First of all, if you're out this far and you can't swim. Yeah, you're <laughs> fucking... Yeah. You better have your fucking floaties on. You better have somebody CPR certified nearby, motherfucker, yeah. because that's... I don't know. I'm, teach, I'm teaching my kids how to swim because that's like my biggest fucking... My, kid, my kids are taking swim lessons right now. That's, that's important. That's yeah. number yeah. one thing. Yeah. It's a skill that you need to have. It's I'm like just a, waiting. I'm super excited because as soon as they're good, I'm just going to drop kick those little bastards into the fucking <laughs> Bro, water. Bro, that's how you dude. learn. Yeah, that's, that's what you do, yeah. Figure it out or don't. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> sink or swim, literally. Literally, it's sink or swim. I mean, I've always wanted to drop kick a kid into the water and like, why not my own kid? <laughs> this like, I just want Yeah, Sparta. this is Sparta just straight into the Bam. Bam. Just How old are you kids? Uh, my daughters, <laughs> which makes it so much better, <laughs> it's so much better, uh, um, nine and five. There and what's go. funny is the nine-year-old Hold would be enough. like, she would cry. The five-year-old would be like, do it again. <laughs> like, she'd probably be pissed and get out and start swinging on me. Like, that's, you know, she's just, she's a little badass. That's what the fuck yeah. about that's She's gonna, crazy. That's going to take yeah. off to her mom, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Katrina. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. We don't talk about her. We don't no, talk about Bruno. Not on her. Not on her. <laughs> Only when she's on air can we talk about her. Okay. Because right I don't want to die. Fair I'm going to die right now you're, anyways. You're about, yeah. I was supposed to be home six minutes ago. So I'm surprised but. you haven't got rang dang yet. There's, there's traffic. Um, there's traffic. You know what? I'm actually doing you a favor because if you went starting to go home right now, you'd be sitting in on yeah. 26. Oh, yeah. No, I already know. That's so, why I know I'm, I'm going to get home at 6. Yep. And she's going to fucking smother me in my sleep. It's okay. I, but it's okay. as a married man, you run that risk every night. Well, so. yeah. You know what? Actually, she won't because we're going to take the trip to Cali. Who's gonna like, we're it? leaving on fucking Tuesday. <laughs> and she don't drive. So yeah. So if she kills you, yeah, so she kills she her. Can't go. And she wants going. to go see everybody she out there. She kills so. the chauffeur. Ha, ha! Bitch, beat the system. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and stop talking about that because uh, I I value my life a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and I know Katrina on a personal level. But too, I am so. I am gonna be I am taking another three week hiatus from the podcast. This time, hopefully Mondo will film some shit. I will. I record will record something. I'll bring I'll bring Yancey and or other guests as well. Maybe Dude, I can bring fucking uh, what's it, what's his name? Fucking trash bag head. Uh, Troy. No, 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 uh, uh man, the other trash bag, man bun. <laughs> oh, Ari. Man bun. Yeah. Bring Ari. 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 I'll bring Ari. Oh, Ari. Cool. Yeah. 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 I know, his, I know his name. I was just trying to think of my name. Trash bag. Yeah. Hashtag, hashtag yeah. trash bag. Ari. <laughs> <laughs> Usually he would, he would be here Fridays, but Fridays he, uh, practices with his group on Fridays. Oh yeah. That's so true. that's the only reason why yeah, he's not yeah, here. Yeah. Profiles are sick, actually. I told him oh, to come. Really? I, yeah, he's like, I don't know, homie. I'm kind of well, sick. So good, fucking stay home. Fucking keep your keep your Delta sure. away from us. I'm, yeah. going, I'm trying to take a road trip, dude. I don't know. That's the last thing I fucking need. Yeah. Um. Where are you going? Uh, Cali. Oh, nice. So I used to live in Cali. I've lived up here for maybe. I don't know, what, six, seven years? You know when you're driving on the highway and you're like, God damn it, this motherfucker's driving like a piece of shit and he's got Cali plates? Uh, That's me. Um, no, no, <laughs> no, definitely not. I don't have Cali plates anymore. <laughs> but I Imagine. I definitely drive like a piece of shit. Um, Can confirm. Yeah, yeah. I dr- and I, well, I drive trucks. I drive for a living. So I professionally drive like a piece of shit. For a living. For a living. Um, but, yeah, no, we're going down there. I'm going to be, it's like, visit family go to disneyland um 
uh, my brother, my brother's going to have his baby shower. I told you. I oh, think yeah, I yeah, mentioned yeah. it last you podcast. Did, you did, you did. Not the last oh, one, I, but a few episodes ago, okay, you did. Okay, something like that. Yeah, so. Or the I first get, pic you got of your nephew is a dick pic. Yeah, pick. the dick pic. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's an ultrasound saying it's a boy. Yeah. Yeah, so my brother was like, he was like, oh, look, it's a boy. Here's the dick pic. And I'm yeah. like. Fucking Great. nice, dude. Like, that's how you title the <laughs> gonna, man. They're going to blog us on TikTok again because we're right. talking about, dick, about dick pics again. again. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, fucking TikTok. Fuck you, TikTok, shit. for deleting our dick pic video. And that was a funny video, too. Yeah, it was great. It was a great segment. So make sure you follow us on Instagram because Instagram, Instagram don't give a fuck. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about dick pics. The Go Deeper podcast. We could have posted real dick pics on there. I don't know about that. Yancy, we could have posted us free. taking no. dick pics and call what? them dick pics. Like actual, like not that regular dick, like not like dick pics, but like taking the shots dick pics. Oh, yeah. like in, yeah. ingesting Yeah, we could have dick taken pics. dick pics on Instagram and they wouldn't even say that. Okay. You know yeah. what? For the next podcast, we should do that. Yeah. Next podcast, we're taking dick pics. Dick pics. As soon as I get back. As soon as you get back. Yeah, as soon as you go. get back from your trip, we're taking the dick, dick pics. pics. So, dick pics. So yeah. moisten up your throats. Yeah. Well, yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so the other thing I'm doing down there is uh, uh, when I go on my trip is Fishing. Of course. Lots of fishing. You shitting Lots me? Lots of fucking fishing. You went fishing today? I did go fishing today. And what? now I got a new passion. What'd you that catch? I'm really passionate about. You didn't catch Fucking shit. nothing. <laughs> but but my whole goal, I didn't give a fuck. I, I went there. I've never done this before. I've always wanted to try it. It's been like four years in the fucking making of me going and trying to catch fucking tiger muskie in Washington. What are tiger muskie, my friend? Tiger muskie are big fucking alligator fish-like things if you don't know anything about them. That's the best way to fucking describe and them. And they're huge. I'm talking they about have like gnarly teeth, two and gnarly mouth to 3, 4, 5 feet long. Okay, so like a this. keeper size tiger muskie, which you can keep them. Really? I found out you can. Keeper size is over 50 inches. Fuck my dick. So that's how big they are. To, to keep them, they have to be over that size. Jeez. So the ones like we saw today dicks. were, yeah, the ones we saw. Today, <laughs> ten of my dicks. <laughs> ten dicks. Yeah, that's, like, fuck, dude. I'll say my mom. It's like thirteen in my case, but whatever, dude. Not even gonna go there. Um, no, but uh, <laughs> but, but no, seriously, uh, fucking dude. They're, they're, the you ones had we some saw followers today, today right? Oh, yeah, I had two followers today, and we spotted probably six or seven of them, Fuck, and they were all man. in that three to four foot range. Fucking massive. From what time? You start, You said you launched at God. 7 to like noon? Yeah, we were 7. No, not even noon. We were off at 10. We were only there for like what? three hours. Dude. And you saw like six fish, six yeah. muskies? Dude, the water was so fucking clear. I saw all kinds of shit. Um, there's stuff I'm going to be hush hush about yeah. a little bit, but yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah it was yeah. fucking good time. We like, should yeah, yeah, yeah. go there. Yeah, so no, we are definitely going to go. If there. you had to describe the fish that you're talking about, it's like if a tiger had sex with like a, what, uh, an uh, alligator, uh, an alligator, alligator with, and, and a side bitch anaconda. Cause there's no arm. It's and a fish. no, it's a fish. So that it'd be like anaconda. a oh, anaconda. How would then. you do it? It's like, it's a, it's some sort of gangbang. It's a f- <laughs> freshwater barracuda. So it's like if a fucking, <laughs> it's, 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 like, if, it's like a, a, a bass, if a bass, a fucking barracuda and a fucking tiger fucked each other. And then they ended up with a fish. That's and what then, it would and be. then yeah. one of them, and then the tiger got pregnant, the tiger, the tiger, the tiger yes, yeah. the only one but gave birth in water. Yeah. That's true. In freshwater. Fresh in freshwater. Fresh fresh water. Water. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good analogy. Oh, yeah. There we go. Not only is this fucking uh, podcast good for you, we're scientific. Science. <laughs> Science. Science. Yeah. Yanti, you are a special guest. I have to ask you. Um, we, we prefaced it. No shit stories. Yeah. No shit stories. You're pretty good with, pretty good with that. You're I'm, gl- I'm glad you have healthy bowels. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad you know where to, where to place them and where to flush them. Yeah. yeah Definitely yeah, don't, yeah. Wanna, don't, don't want to. Uh, you don't know want to shit the couch? The shit like on purpose? Seat? Well, you just sit there and be like, dude, it's happening. <laughs> well, I mean, I was, putting, about, I was putting my socks on. It. I was putting my socks on, and it just kind of happened. And <laughs> I had to finish putting my socks on. It wasn't like I was just going to. Uh, this, this is not stopping, so neither am I. He, yeah. No, that happened. It We're literally happened. It's yeah. like a legit story. So since he has no poop stories, I'm going to ask you of any paranormal experiences you have or people around you have had. And don't be uh, shy with the details. Dude, but if you have a poop Paranormal story. Oh, yeah. By the way, if anyone has oh, one of those where it has, it has poop story. and paranormal, you're coming on the fucking show. Yeah. Fucking. We'll, if we'll, a ghost shit in your God. bed, <laughs> I'll pick <laughs> you up. <I'll, laughs> I'll, I'll, <laughs> now, now, mind you, you have to be like within and, our. And all of a sudden, area. I turned around. Within a hundred miles, I will pick or you or up. You need to be to within a hundred miles, and you need to be able to drink a beer with us. And I those will. Are the only I will. You have to be old enough to drink a beer with us, and I will pick you up, and I will fucking bring you to the show. Yeah. 
But yeah. anyways, Angie, please, paranormal experience. All yes. right. Uh, well, the one that I can think of is uh, one that my mom was telling me about, or which told me when she was little. I was talking about the the cage, the the cribs that have like the cover uh, on them. Like back in the day, it's like wood cage. So you should put like kids cribs. in a kennel. Like a dog kennel? I've never heard of that no. either. It so, might be an old school Mexican. Yeah, yeah, oh, it, yeah, it okay. might have been. So, the, like yeah. back when my mom was a kid, oh, she ooh. talked about how there was a kid that uh, like stood up on on the crib, and then that thing closed on the baby's neck. But by that time, uh, the baby was getting taken care of by a babysitter. And the babysitter uh-huh. comes on, and the kid with a broken neck is like, well, "What do I do?" So, it, in Mexico, sometimes you don't have. Um, like sewer, sewer system. So uh uh-huh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have that. You so go you do, shit outside in the in the thing, right? Not only that, but you do have some some plumbing system, but it's just a big hole under under underground, like deep in yeah. there. So that's where it all goes. So then she just didn't know what to do, and then she was like, "Well, I gotta hide it, the baby somewhere." No, so, so but back then it, the rich families would have uh, uh, like a, like a nanny and like uh, someone that would take care of like the cleaning, yeah, living yeah, yeah. in the house. Uh huh. So when that happened, she comes on and says like the baby got kidnapped. And, you know, please couldn't find the baby. And, and, and then, they're like, right there, it was just like, okay, well, obviously the parents were looking for the baby. But while this was happening, the, uh, I guess, the, the, the nanny was, uh, room, the nanny room, was right next to that, the, the, the toilet. The sewage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a toilet. They call them vaulted toilets at, at campgrounds and shit. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's all it is, a big hole in the ground. Yeah, so yeah. she would hear the baby at night. <sighs> She would hear it cry from in the toilet. I, I, I mean, she, she, that's that's what it is. And then within time, she confessed because she couldn't take it anymore. She oh, was like, oh, she was oh. like, this it, is driving oh, me crazy. Oh, it could have been half and half. It could have been half paranormal, half. Okay, her that's so this is what I'm yeah, saying. This yeah. is why this is why yeah. I rolled that over because you guys were talking about that dark humor. That's a really shitty story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to go dark with that. I fucking had to. God, ah, it's so shitty. So so yeah. So essentially, she she told, <laughs> "You're a piece of shit." <laughs> 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 so she just confessed, oh, and then fuck. yeah, it was, it was crazy. And your mom knew them. No, no, it was it's a story. It's she like heard. a story that has been told, like okay, from okay. you know times. And you know what like, though, I I do want to ask you to tell one more story that you told me a while back when yeah. you went to go visit Mexico so, a long time ago. I'll tell the story and then uh, I'll tell what happened because I don't think I've ever told you what actually happened. Okay, tell me. So. Uh, driving at night uh, through, I, there's there's a there's a there's a culture in Mexico where it's uh, like the full core is very like 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 we talked about um, dwarfs or what do you call dwarfs it? Uh, yeah. like elves elves, yeah, elves elf elf creatures yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. like uh, like I don't know for whatever reason people believe in that and yeah. and people see it more often. I can those places and like those yeah. rural places oh, yeah. where we talked about. I can tell yeah. you some stories about that shit here. Yeah, see, I've not, never heard a story anything in my ear. So either way, I was driving at night, and uh, another episode. In the middle of the road, there was this guy with a broken leg, and what I mean, guy is like just an old guy, old guy, just skinny old guy, with a broken leg, walking down the middle of the road. And as I'm driving, I like swerve around it, and I didn't want to look at the my rearview mirror just because I was like, dude, if if it's something that's just not just the guy, and it's something that it's more than that. It's just going to be right behind me. It's going to be in your back seat. I was like, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. So I made it all the way home. And I'm like, it's that that was it. I was like, what happened? And then it's just like, this talked about uh, like things appearing right in that intersection. And that's where I took home. I was like, man, I saw something. That maybe I did something paranormal. And then uh, something I didn't tell you that uh, was years after there was a, uh, my grandma told me that what actually, what it was, was a guy. It was, was a homeless there? guy that lived around there. And then he would just get drunk and then just walk around in the middle of the street. And that's what actually had happened. So I didn't tell you that. I mean, oh, so it's just like a regular you. dude. Yeah, it was like, yeah. oh, you're this, like, oh, this is crazy this paranormal. Whole fucking time. Yes. Uh, it was just yeah. some fucking old homeless yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But through, throughout the whole time, like, it was just like, for him, it was like the craziest story here. And sorry to break it to you, but it, it was just a homeless, it was homeless guy, dude. Yeah. Happens to all of what's, us. what's crazy about that is there was some guy. So there's a, I guess there's some road in Sandy over here. A guy I was working with just recently. This was like this week, but yeah, he told me um, he told me that down that road when he's driving down that road, he had he had a girlfriend. And he had to drive down that road every night to go home. He lived in in Troutdale, and it's somewhere over there where he uh, 
where he had to go. I can't remember the name of the road, but he said he saw shadow figures and he's talked to like four or five different people and they talked about seeing those shadow figures like in the fucking road while you're driving and all that shit. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking weird. Define like know. shadow figures. Like, like like figures. Like it'll look like it'll look like something or someone is standing in front of you or standing in the road or something like that. Like a shadow of someone. Like yeah uh, yeah yeah like something okay. like that yeah, yeah. yeah for so sure. like an apparition kind yeah, of thing yeah, like yeah. yeah so yeah and it's like he was telling me and then he's like showing me these things about how he he messaged friends about it and messaged all these other people and they confirmed it like they were like oh yeah yeah we've seen that shit like I've it's always, real I was thought like, oh, that fuck. like if you like have a if you get a glance of those things and like you believe it like yeah it just shows up mm-hmm. more often like it just keeps okay. on happening well, that but, shit like, here in Oregon. Yeah, dude, it's insane. Sandy. Sandy. Fucking Sandy. Uh, yeah. You know who lives in Sandy? Who? Yeah. There they are right there. That's, that's fucking ghosts the right there. Goddamn. <laughs> N- knock twice if you're here. Yeah, Stomp more. four times yeah. if you're here. What does 19 times mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. Morse code. You know who I uh, became best friends with within the last two weeks, within the last time we filmed an episode? Matt. No, I'm talking about like good friends, like oh. great, like great, like, okay. like, like he's gonna become an official part of the podcast, and he's gonna be like the new member of PDX Fishing and you're all that. You're full of shit, it. Jack Black. You're full oh, of shit. <laughs> dude, you're full of shit. Oh my hey, god. Hey, I'm fucking met Jack that's Black. How many times have you met Jack that's Black? That's true. That's fucking dude, awesome. Dude, me and Alec, uh, Northwest Fishing, we went to Ben to go see Tenacious D, aka the greatest and best band in the world. There's no denying it. Sh- show your tat. <coughs> it's the pick of destiny. It's right here. I don't know if yeah, I don't know if that was on when you and Alec were on here, but yeah, uh, that wasn't on. I didn't talk. I don't about think that. you guys talked about it. We didn't talk about that at all. Both we both blow JB at the same time. It's yeah, kinda yeah, crazy. it was great. You guys, so we watched the concert, which is fucking great in Bend, uh, and the the concert's over. People are like trickling in out, like starting to leave, and me and Alec were like, well, let's just hang around the back. We got nowhere to go. We're in Bend by ourselves. We don't. If we just leave, we're gonna go back to the hotel room and be bored. So let's hang out in the back behind the stage. We might see him. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, fuck it. I'm down, you know? So as more people start to leave, um, one of the security guys sees us kind of just waiting there, being not suspicious, but not leaving. And the, sp- the security comes up to us and he's like, what are you guys doing? You guys waiting for somebody or something? And I fucking lied to him. I'm like, yeah, dude, we're fucking waiting for Charles. Alec, call him. See where the fuck he's at. It was just us, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we're just making an excuse to why we're there. Yeah. And then the security goes like, all right, well, you guys got to wait across the street because you guys just can't be right here. I'm like, okay, yeah, for sure. Fuck, tell that fool to hurry up. And we just kind of walked across the street, but we didn't leave. Yeah. Yeah. We're hanging out. I also took a picture with um, the guitar player. Yeah, yeah, I John. remember that. That's the picture I saw first. John, I didn't see the John Jack Black Kaninsky. And the people don't know who he is because he's not Jack yeah. Black or KG, the main, he's one of the band members. You know what I mean? The yeah. musicians that make Tenacious D. And I know who they all are because yeah. I'm a big fan of their music. And I snagged a picture with him, which is actually really cool. Anyway, so we're still waiting around. More people are starting to leave. We start walking a little bit more this way. And I'm walking down kind of like away from the stage in the back. There's like this weird like commons area that's still behind the fence where the public is not allowed access to. But yeah, there's like some yeah. little houses and stuff down there. Not houses, but like buildings. And I look between two of the buildings, and who do I see? Motherfucking Jack Black right there, bro. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, Alec, come over here. And then the two, there was two girls that were walking around behind us, too, yeah. and they heard me say that, and they stopped. Oh, my God. And they were being loud, and then yeah. who comes? Fucking security, security. bro. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, Alec, Alec, keep walking, keep walking, because they're about to fucking kick these bitches the out. Girls, yeah. And so we keep walking like this, and then sure enough, the security kicks in. Hey, you got to, because this bitch started to jump the fence. What? Like that. Oh, she started being conspicuous, ass, yeah. and I was like, you piece of shit so we walk around like this we walk maybe like 10 yards bro and i turn around and i notice that the the security guard they picked him up in the suv for the for the securities like the security yeah. they came and picked him up it's time to go and i was like alec i think the security guard's leaving and then i look to where those bitches were climbing the fence after they got off and there's another couple right there talking by the fence and i yeah. notice fucking jack black is right there yeah talking to the people where we were just at and i'm like alec 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 <laughs> And you haven't seen. I don't have you on any social media yeah. besides nothing. You gotta put the clip on here. I'll put the clip. I'll, I'll I'll pause it right now and I'll slip those two clips in. Right now. Onyx smells really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Welcome to Oregon, right? JB. <laughs> yeah. Glad to have you back. You. Kick ass show, man. Eat my after show food. Oh, yeah, you got it? Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. We did. Oh, wait. Ow! 15 years of intro. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. Hey, thanks a lot, JB. Have a good night, bro. Thanks, most most famous and most that that most people like, but I guess he's got a lot of. No, you guys are filling me in on drama he has right now, and all that shit. But uh, Tom Hanks was probably the most famous. You met Tom Hanks? Yeah, yeah. I was actually surf fishing yeah. on a beach out in Santa Monica. I was first, uh, surf fishing down there. Yeah. And he actually walked by me holding a longboard, and he was like, oh, a "Longboard or a surfboard? Longboard. It's a surfboard. It's a just a long surfboard. Here, yeah. a longboard is a skateboard. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Here, a longboard is a skateboard. Okay, go to the ocean. Okay, I don't where care where you are. People go play in the you water. You can't skate in the ocean. You can't yeah, skate in the ocean. You can't skate in the ocean. It's a longboard. Mm. That's why it makes sense that you say surfboard. It's a longboard. Well, you're surfing on the curb or you're surfing Doesn't in matter. the surf. Doesn't matter. But go. I basically, I kind of gave him like this head nod, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like that, you're Tom Hanks, and I, I didn't say that, but I was just looking at him. I was like, "Oh shit!" And he was like, "Yeah, I'm just trying to surf." I was like, "Cool, I'm gonna get out of your way." That's awesome. That's cool. And then I just kind of walked away because I'm not like I'm not one of those people. I don't try to interrupt their lives or whatever. But it was just really fucking epic. Yeah. Well, we're, then, we yeah. were talking about how there's the uh, the like the meeting the famous like a famous person etiquette yeah. where oh yeah like if you meet him like at a public place like yeah dude I'm sitting I'm, I'm literally in line for this bagel just yeah. like you yeah like I'm like we're the same we're right just now. one of the same right now yep yep like I mean yeah like if, if I go if I go uh, watch some like a soccer game and I meet you at the soccer game you are a soccer player then yeah and, and if I'm a fan I'm, that's what I'm gonna be yeah. yeah if then we're in line to get food we're both in line to get food well it's like yeah. my mom like my mom went point. my mom saw uh, fucking Chris Pratt at a fucking grocery store I think I told you about this it was at the grocery store because Chris Pratt, he's he was raised in Washington. Oh no, fucking shit! In Lake shit. Stevens, Washington. So what? It, like, yeah. So he uh, he's from the area. My mom saw him at the grocery store because I guess he was visiting friends or family or whatever, and he literally told my mom because my mom like started like panic attacks. Hey, that's where's, like her favorite. Person. Where's the peanut butter? And he was like, <laughs> and she and he just went like, <laughs> and she was like, Have you seen him in Jurassic Park? Where he's like, Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can just picture him doing that to my mom, dude. Just. Hey, 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 girl, hey, girl. Hey, but he went like, because I guess he was kind of dressed, you know, he's just like really casually. Had right. a, he had a hoodie on and everything, and he was just like, and she was like, Dang. You got it, bud. It's borderline mm-hmm. creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, you know. You got it, dude. But my mom's the same way. My mom knows, like, if they want to talk, they'll talk. Yeah, like exactly. If you come up, if you see somebody, if you see a celebrity, you see anybody, if they want to talk to you, they'll talk to you. Yeah. yeah. If they're trying to get their shit done and get the fuck out. That's Leave them the fuck alone, through. man. That's like, what they're that, you're do. not paparazzi. You don't need to fucking talk to those people. Yep. Yeah. Leave them the fuck alone. Like, yeah. if, I don't know. I mean, it's like this. If if I mean, I'm not famous for anything, right? But if yeah. someone in the middle of the street was like, hey, you're Mondo from PDX Fishing, or hey, you're Mondo from Los Normas and Adios, can I get a picture? I'm going to be like, fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. You're Matt from the Go Deeper Podcast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but yeah. the thing is, once you get that every day, all day long, I can yeah, see how it would. Yeah. I can see how it become. Like if I, like I'll be like, sense. yeah, I mean, let me shit in the front seat of your car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. That's how they know me. Right? You got, you got a love seat I can borrow. Yeah, or? yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> Here, let me change my socks in your front seat of your car. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> yeah. Christ. Jesus. No, I mean, I would get it though. I mean, at this, yeah. okay, say you're at the airport and you see. Oh, at the airport, I'm sure every, everyone's just trying to get to the flight. Imagine you're I, running late and this dude is like, dude, let me take a picture with you. I heard that's the shittiest feeling. I bet. Dude, Franco was talking about like, oh, my dad just died and I have to do a show connecting like from Monterrey to something. Yeah. And then like, I'm literally crying at the airport and these motherfuckers. <laughs> Franco, <laughs> what a photo. <laughs> He's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's... it's and then if you say no, you're the asshole who doesn't yeah, right, take photos. Yeah, right, because then they, did, the they think you're such a dick and all this stuff, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. At times, it's like, what, what do you do? I know. It's, well, it's like I told you, like, I, I was, we were kind of talking about this a little bit before the show, and I, I met, like, like, I met Kobe. And, I, and it, I, my, my interaction with Kobe was, like, that big. Like, uh-huh. it was, like, the min- most minuscule thing. To me, it's, it meant a lot, because it was just like, oh, shit. Like, it, yeah. and he acknowledged me as a fucking human, and I'm like... Oh, yeah. It was fucking like, Kobe. You know what I mean? Did like, you say you hold the door for him? Yeah, yeah. So we were coming off. It was me and my wife and my kids and uh, or my one daughter. We only, At the time. We didn't have uh, Nora yet. So it was Stella. And she was only like three. 
So my wife and her walk out the gate and walk to the side, and Kobe and his family were getting escorted in the exit. Fuck. And so I held the gate open for them, and that's all it was. It wasn't like I was fucking something special. Hey, or, you're like, and he wasn't like, hey, what's up, Matt, or anything like that. He hey, was, that I was like – wa- He walked by, and he's like, hey, thanks, man. Yeah, that's, I, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically time what he I've did, dude. I was like, I was like <laughs> hi. Like, holy shit. Like, you're fucking Kobe. Hi. That's and I was, it was legit like that. Like, holy shit. Yeah, you know, you're Kobe. Hi. And then he was like, oh, hey, thanks. I feel like you have the same and it was ex- it yeah like it was the same impression with all the famous people yeah. it's the same thing just like, i'm just like you're, you're oh, fucking well, tom what hanks the, what the fuck when dude, you met like, tom you're hanks kobe you're bryant. like God. you're kobe bryant well because <laughs> i do that thing i go like hold on like this isn't real like you're not that yeah yeah you're, you're david fucking definitely you're yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah have you you haven't seen parks and rec have you yeah, I mean, like, we were talking about this uh, on the phone the other day. Uh, yes. And Perkins. <laughs> What's that? You got to watch the Fox no. and Rick. Well, and Perkins. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I know, I know. Like, he comes out in it. And I told you about the most expensive scene on that show. Yeah, remember? Chris Pratt. So uh, Chris Pratt was supposed to come out not fully naked. But yeah, I saw when they that. open yeah. that door, he's yep. fully naked, and it's just yeah. like they had to like pay for a bunch of people's like <laughs> therapy. <Yeah. laughs> so that yeah. what the company is. Yeah. Who's your most famous? Or person you've ever met uh, nobody yet i mean uh me w- when i used to play uh <laughs> right, probably, probably when i used to play so for, for uh i used to play for east side which is a soccer club here in gresham and then uh they would use us as uh they would have us work at the concession stands in uh, portland timbers stadium oh shit so then one time i uh, was for uh it was like timbers versus america uh, and uh, I snuck down on the field when er- when like everything's done, and uh, same thing. Like I waited till everyone's done, and then the players were coming out, and I had my the East Side jersey, uh-huh. and I had them all signed. And uh, oh. I mean, I just met soccer players that I know that are you know like worldwide, like you know international soccer players. And that's that's, cool. that's yeah. famous people. They signed the shirt. Like yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. That's I mean, at that point, like, cause like I'm from Cruz Azul, like I'm a Cruz Azul fan, which is opposite. It's like being a timber. It's like being a, a Blazers fan, and oh, then yeah, like yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, sneaking yeah. into the Lakers locker room. Gotcha. Yeah. You're gonna be a yeah. fan. Like the, you are yeah. a fan yeah. of those basketball. Yeah, 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 the yeah. players. You're a fan yeah. of the sport. Therefore, fan you appreciate the sport. Yep. you yeah. appreciate the players. Yeah. Uh, and that was me. You know, I'm a fan of Cruz Azul, but I was in there and I was talking to uh, Matias Bozo, which at the time he was an international. He, he went to the World Cup with Mexico and uh, Vicente Sanchez was also uh, for Uruguay. And those uh, are the players that you lo- you're just like, damn, I mean, you're, you're ballish at the right. end of the day. That's, yeah. Fucking yeah. that's pretty cool. That, that was it. That, that's the, the most. Well, that's the people. thing is living where I lived in Southern California. I think it was the, also the people. You saw I so many. Yeah. Uh, I saw a lot of people. I mean, I, I met a lot of like really famous like motocross guys tv personalities band people like i met uh fucking travis barker travis barker had a travis barker drummer Blink from Blink 182, 182. Yeah, uh, yeah and he had a he had a shop right down the street he used to do drum lessons in the back of it was famous Sergeant really? straps before that became his brand oh like wow. before it became really big he had a shop like in the city where we lived and i'd skate down the street and That's he'd be tight. giving drum lessons in the back and it was when he had his dirty dreads and he smelt kind of funny. <laughs> and <laughs> but he was a cool guy. Like yeah. I met him there. He came to my church one time, which was really weird when I was down there. Yeah. And then um, I Motocross. met a lot of pro skateboarders, pro motocross. Like, I don't. Like, I met Kerry Hart, Kerry Hart, and Kerry Travis Hart. Barker. The third time I ever met Travis Barker, it was the third time I remember. Almost all the times I met him, <laughs> but the third time I met him was at a, a Wahoo's Fish Tacos, and it was owned by Kerry Hart. And Kerry Hart was there, and he had. It was when I don't know if you guys heard of Hart and Huntington. He had a tattoo shop in uh, Vegas, and um, he owned that too. But he had I've a lived bike. I've been my whole life, Dougie. Well, he had a bike that was wrapped in Hart and Huntington, and I was like, dude, that fucking wrap is awesome. And as when I had a motorcycle, so I was like, oh, one that's time cool. when I went to Digiland as a kid, the most famous person I ever met. I don't even know if you guys are gonna know who he is. Mickey Mouse. You, you guys are right. Yes, fucking goofy. Dude, yeah. I I met Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go see him again. We're yeah. buddies. Tell that motherfucker. I, said, I up? am. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take we'll a pic- to a, Do you remember me, dude? I'm gonna dude. take a picture of him. I'm gonna take a picture with <laughs> dude, him, dude. Long time to see. What the fuck? Uh, no, I <laughs> shit you not. I am taking a picture of with him when I go on this trip. You better. And I, we're gonna post it on you the next show. Better. Yeah, we're gonna you motherfucking better. You son it. of a bitch. Is that on, on motherfucking Mickey Mouse? I'm just gonna <gasps> send it to you. Duh. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send it to you, and then you put it. You put it on the next show. I'll do it. While I'm out there. I'll still. fucking do Just it. Fuck it. I don't know. You know who I no real do you guys ever watch WWE F? That's how long ago it was. I'm not even sure. Well yeah. isn't well, it yeah. WWF? 
It was WWF it was, first. It was first, and now it's WWE. Federation, yeah. Then it yeah. turned to entertainment. entertainment. Yeah. But this but was so long ago, I don't wrong. know if it was WE or WF. Do you guys you remember a guy is, named know. Rico? Yeah, he had Rico Swaverts. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. I, yeah. I saw him at uh, yeah, Disneyland yeah. one time. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's fucking Fun cool. Fun fact, yeah, I yeah. didn't know that The Undertaker actually went to jail for faking his death. What? Well, I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying. But I that's, heard it somewhere. Uh, that's Is that WWF, true? That's WWF, by the way. Is that yeah. true? The Undertaker faked his death? And that's why he know. picked up on The Undertaker? Speaking of The Undertaker, last time we filmed a podcast, we met this guy um, after we left the podcast. We haven't talked about this since. <laughs> what is this about? Are we can, allowed to can, disclose can we where we allowed? Are we allowed to disclose this? Lupita doesn't know, but she also doesn't watch the show. My <laughs> wife totally knows. I totally know. She knows where it. we went, though. Yeah, So that's course. fine. Yeah, we can yeah. talk about so it. We ended up going to a bar after we left. This First, is going to be a great way to close yeah. out the oh Wagon show. Oh, my God. This is the, yeah. After the last show that we filmed, we all got together and said, are you guys thirsty? And we all said yes. And then we were all like, dude, you guys want chicken wings? And we were like... I was like, well, fuck Didn't yeah, dude. Chicken. Who doesn't want chicken wings? So first stop, we went to pubs right here. Yeah. Pub 181. Oh, bomb chicken wings. Very good, by the yeah. way. It does yeah. not go too yeah. bar. It was really More good. than uh, better wings than... Uh, no. No. Okay. No, but well, no, but this is a bar. Skyland. This is a bar, though. So is, so, like, so is Skyland. Skyland is also a bar, and they have good wings, too. Okay, well, however, though, yeah. however, though, however, though, however, though, that was stop number one. That was stop number one, because we drank there. We had a few drinks. They were closing early, and I wasn't ready to go home. Nobody was ready to go home. And I had $20 in my pocket that were in my way. <laughs> right. And so I had a, I had a couple Long story couple short, bro. Bucks, you know. We went. We won't disclose where. Where, yeah. To this no. strip club. We went to a strip club. This yes. direction. Okay. And first of all, okay, so I have to go preface precursor. It. Preface. Yeah, I have to, yeah. Set so, the scene. Paint the picture. So Mondo has gone to a strip club with, uh, or no, he. Mondo doesn't go to strip clubs. Did you go to the one, the other one, where, where by where I live? One time with you. One time. We okay. went to two. And it's the one that my, me, and my, me and my wife go there. We, we went to we Sunset. Go there, we frequent there once in a while. Too, but we went to a couple. We of went ones. to one over there, and he was like, the girl's here or whatever, blah, 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 <sighs> talking all this crap. So then he's like, dude, we got to go to this other one. You got to go to this one by me or by my house, whatever. You got to check it out. I go there. Shut the fuck up because you fell in love. <laughs> Bro. No, I didn't. No, 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 no. With no. profiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, let me tell you who I fell in love with. It's true. Um, he was probably about six three. Um, when I walked in, I noticed his. Uh, so his, did I. He was balding, but had long was, hair. But he had long hair. Balding, so but had long hair. Completely bald, like shiny bald on top, but long. Shawn Michaels. Okay. No, 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 no. no, no, bald. no, no. And taller. And think, taller. Uh, think and, Undertaker and I'm tall. Thinking Undertaker, like Undertaker tall. Kane, with kind of uh, like Undertaker's face, but if Undertaker never like got pale. muscles. Kane. Pale like oh, that. oh, okay. Yeah, and he was pale, but he never had muscles. Like, but that's not the weird part. Okay, okay. so the then I'm looking part. at this guy, okay, and I'm, he's wearing like a there. leather vest. A long one. Long leather vest. Dang. Long. That's okay. not the weird part. Okay. Inspector Gadget. Okay. okay. Then he Inspector has. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget. Black. Black. And he has, Sherlock Holmes. And he has black leather gloves that That's flare, and they almost come to his. They come mid forearm. Is that the weird part? And they part? flare out. Mm. No. Still not weird. Okay. Then he also had. Okay. And I, I don't know what he had underneath because I didn't want to look. But he had leather chaps on or leather pants. I don't know. I want to say they were black leather. Whatever. I was distracted by the other okay. piece. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, wait. We're not there yet. Okay. And then he had knee-high black leather boots that were studded. And I mean knee-high. Okay? This was how this guy, this was his whole vibe. Okay? Then, okay, to top it all off. And it's the the creme de la creme. It's what made him him. This is why we're talking about him. This is why I'm bringing him up. He had a fucking foot dildo on the table in front of him that he took Pretend everywhere. Pretend it was looked like, was like a, a fucking pet? severed foot. A foot from here. A foot from that a foot that was chopped off. I was doing the point. And it was with pointing the toes. like you like a dancer point. Fucking little, like imagine like tippy toes. Like a dildo. Cut off right here. Yeah. And he had it like this. And he just had it at the strip club table. Strip club. Yeah. Just sitting there. Just sitting there. And he's just drinking his drink and he's sitting there with the foot. And I was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, hey Mondo. There's no Mondo, way he's petting oh, look at this it, right? fucker. I was like The girls was, were dancing with it. And no 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 no. Even even better, even better. When he went up to the, when he would go up to the rack, okay. What's the rack? It's, the rack is where you go and you put the ones and the girls. It's when you watch the girls. The dance. It's when you're standing at the table. Okay, okay. Or okay. at the at the stage. Okay. So when he put it on the rack, and that's where the girls come and they get the dollars and stuff. He would fold a one and put it between the toes, 
of the fucking foot, dude. Damn. Like, literally folded it, put it between the toes of the foot, and expected the girls to dance on it. <laughs> and they would. Be real. That's and they would. Shit. Dude, they would. this is legit. Like, this is seriously, you it know, happened. It's you know true. how you put a couple dollars in front of you, and then yeah. eventually the girl will make her yeah. way around to you? Yeah. He would do that. And put the it girl, on the dildo. No, he would be like, don't dance on me. Dance, dance on the foot. Dance on my foot. Dance on my foot. And so he, we would be oh like we were drinking That's beer at trend. the table, not at not at the rack, right? But we'd be over here, and I would see the girl in front of him, and I'd be like, guys, 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 guys. She's dancing with the foot. She's dancing with the foot, dude. Oh, That's dude, it was so weird. And then one girl was like grinding on the foot for a second. I was yeah. like. What's up with that? Gross. What is that? Some people, man. It was fucking, dude, it was Some epic. people, man. And then the girl who came next to us, some like cracked out fucking dancer that was there. And she's like, with the big hands. Yeah. The girl with like, the monster we... hands. She, her hands were massive. She said, we appreciate you guys coming out here because this is a yeah. dying uh, then, dying economy or something. And I'm right. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we lost him. Look at, look at We lost him. Is he going to go take a leaker? He's going to go. He's going to go drain his lizard. Drain the MV. Yep. Oh, fuck. But yeah, so yeah, that was fucking crazy times. We're still recording. Jesus Christ, I just got super subconscious. I was like, what if I'm not recording? Right. But no, remember that big hands girl? She was yes, like, Yes, yes. And she was like, Oh, I, I love that guy. He's a freak and he's like totally all about it. And because he's so real about it, it's just so cool. And I was like, No, yeah. it's not. Yeah. Like, just because you're real about it does not mean it's not weird, buddy. Like, don't get me wrong. Let your freak flag fr- fly, but. There's a point where yeah, that's too much. There, if you, I, because I, I agree with that too. If you're a freak, let it be known. But, but a, a dildo, are, a foot dildo. If in people public, aren't like, coming up to yeah. you, you gotta wear your black leather. Yeah, do your thing. Rock a fucking headband or a shirt or a bracelet or something Dude, that says rock, "I love feet." Rock your skullet. Rock your skullet. <laughs> Okay, shave I love feet into your fucking head. Yeah, but leave your dildo little, out of fucking get, home, get bro. Little, <laughs> get little foot tattoos on your fucking face. Like, right under your eye, just have a foot on yep. your, you know, tattooed yep. under your eye. And just fucking rock your thing. But, God, leave the fucking foot at home, dude. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go there. No, I feel I've, bad. No, I, I feel bad because he should. I, I should accept him for him. Yeah. But, God. <laughs> Man, hey, you know what? <laughs> we're, jar- we're judging hardcore. He's probably a cool guy. Let's have him on the motherfucking podcast. If you guys know who we're talking about, if you guys know who we're talking about. If anybody knows, uh, put it in the comments. Dr. Skullet Fetish. Uh, Skullet skullet fucking decapitated foot dildo guy. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Defocated? (laughs) Defocated. Guys, we ran through this whole motherfucking shit. No, No, we didn't. No, we we didn't talk about sleeping. We didn't talk about sleep. How are you, uh... Are the cameras good? Are we going to fucking die? No, we're st- did my thing go off? Yeah, it did. It did? A while ago. Yanti, like did five you check ago. really quick? Is this camera still on? The camera's still on. It is? Yeah, mine's on, yeah. I don't know if that one's on. Is it's mine on. another beer. Yeah. Am I on? Yep. Dude, we had a solid conversation about movies. Talk we did. Movies. Oh, we did yeah, talk we did. about movies. Yeah. That, w- well, yeah. that wasn't recorded, huh? No, but we're no. talking about, like, creepy feet and shit like that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dildo foot guy, dude. Yeah, yeah that's fucking great. Yeah, yeah. Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko. Yeah. That's seriously That's one of your top three movies. I it is. Literally if it's in your top three, three, then I'll watch it. Uh, I haven't seen uh, it. If you if you can watch it the first time and understand what the movie's about and get the premise of I don't it and understand the whole entire thing, See, I, I will fucking I I, I, have to I don't know what I'll do. I'll, it'll be some kind of bet. I'll I, do I didn't something. understand it. Like I yeah. watched because I'm a fan of uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, and uh, I watched it, but that's yeah. it. Like I was like, this is creepy. If you only watch it one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to watch oh, it again. Dude, if you guys, if you can watch it your first time and understand what it's about and like get the movie, fucking, Smart. I don't know. We'll do something. I'll, I'll do a fucking some kind of bet with you or whatever. I want you. To, you need to explain it. Nope, not that. Not that. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, you I'll know leave what? that up to Skullet you know Foot Guy. Do? You know what I'll do is I'll I'll hook you up with Skullet Foot Guy. No, okay, I'm good. I'm, I'm yeah, good yeah I'm I'll good. treat you to a bar night with Skullet <laughs> Foot Guy. <laughs> I'll pay for the drinks. <laughs> uh, no, fuck yeah. that. Because you think he said he, you said he could be a cool guy. He so, could be yeah. a cool guy, and if you're watching, please come uh, on the show because yeah, I want to ask you a couple questions. Yeah, the I right, couple questions. I want to fucking. I have. I want to pick your brain. Thousand questions. And to his foot. Thousand. And to go. Yeah, yeah. I'll wear my flippy floppies just for you. I I I mean I it vaguely I'm vaguely intrigued by the fact that I want to like touch the foot. 
Do you see what it feels like? I can get but that. But I'm kind what of scared if, of where it's oh been, Oh, my though, God. Bro. What if on the bottom is a flashlight? Shut the fuck Dude. Oh, and it could be. It could the way the, be. The way it's it was the built, size. The way it was built and the size of it. And it looks down, silicone. Really. Like how. Oh. Dang. I think it might be. Where would you buy that? But, dude, why is he walking around the streets with his Yankee, bro? Here's the like thing. over there in the fucking well, strip club with his little. He, he's walking out of the strip club and he's like, did, did you have a good time? Dude, that, it was like that. That's how he. What if he? What if he takes girls in the VIP room and then? Did like, you enjoy yourself? Yeah, right. That would be that would be creepy. That how about the, how about the five little piggies? <sighs> yeah. Well, this piggy went to the store. This little piggy had a good time in that. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have you on, bro. This if you're piggy, watching, this little piggy went to the store. This little piggy went in your back door. Oh God! Thank God. Love it. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm dressing up like that dude for Halloween. I'm fucking doing it. Ah, uh, you know what I want to do? Just because I've never done it, what? the fucking blue and orange suits for, for from Dumb and Dumber. I just need someone to do it with me, and I'm kind of tall. I I need to you do need someone. That's, I need another tall Troy. dude. Troy can do if, it. if you went by yourself, would that would they know? Be like, if I went by myself and I was trying to do a Dumb and Dumber look, how, what would it be? The big sombrero holding a couple cases of beer, maybe. You know, you yeah. haven't seen that movie, have you? I then it's that's the new one, right? No, that's the old one. That's the old one. I've seen it's it. When he, it's I when he seen gets it his, is when he gets his wallet stuck in the newspaper yes. things. Okay, I've seen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But do you do Troy? Troy would be like the perfect guy to yeah. be with. Yeah, there yeah. we go. If he doesn't flake on you like the fucking show. Dang. <laughs> I met Troy. He's a like guy. He's a cool guy. He's my he's my good buddy. I love Troy. I just talked to him earlier. Really. Yeah. He wants to go. He's fucking diehard. Wants to go tiger musky fishing. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. So do I. Take me with you, bitch. You're fucking getting. By up. the way, have you uh, doodled up our doodles yet? Oh yeah, yeah I've uh, Wait, actually no. I have done he's a few gonna, drawings. He, he's really good at. Free, he actually whipped this up. Nice. And oh, so, kind of. And we just did, I did the the original version where it was like hand drawn. We digitalized yeah. it, but the main idea was driven up by him. Anyways, I want to have him draw our names. Yeah. And we're gonna blast it on this white right here in the that's back. Right. I mean, if you come up with the idea, that's even better. You know, when, I, when I drink, I get really artistic. Yeah. Or well, autistic or fucking whatever. Jesus Christ. When when you're implementing an idea, that's like the hardest thing to do on someone. And when you can dry it out, then you picture it the way that you thought about it. Yeah. That's you, true. Like, imagine if I describe it like an elephant. Like, you're wish, not thinking of the same elephant as me. But for but him. But when you dry, you dry it, this it out, was what like I was thinking about. This I wish I had I that about. ability to. Yeah, that's type. cool. Yeah. That's, a, that's a gift. I wish I had that gift. Yeah. Yeah. They all have dick noses. Elephants. Okay. It's never mind. Fuck a gift. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got a gift. Yeah. Oh, we got a gift receipt. Yeah. Dumbo dick. dick noses. Jumbo Dumbo dick. dick. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbo dick noses. Jesus fucking. There we dude. go. Yeah, dude. I'm making stickers for everybody. Call me. <laughs> He's making promises. He hasn't even doodled up the doodles yet. I did. I drew them. I just got a fucking. You did? Yeah. I started drawing them. Yeah. Oh, no, the only man. the the only well because we only have two names now. Yeah. Which are <sighs> Matt and Troy. Matt, Matt and Mondo. Wow. Matt and well, Troy. Wait, what? Holy hey. shit. <laughs> no, Matt Leave and Mondo. Out. So it's like super easy. Yeah. yeah. I actually did a couple where we like kind of made them blend together, which was kind of cool, but nah, When one it. person meets another, they yeah. start blending. Blending. <laughs> <laughs> Get Terry Crews. God, I love that movie. Love Have you seen that movie? movie? The Adam Sandler movie, Blended? blended? No. With Drew Barrymore, bro? No, no. Uh, Anything with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore is classic. Gold. He's great. It's classic. fucking gold. We talked yeah. about how he can ball. Like he's good oh, at yeah. basketball. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. A, I haven't seen that movie, Hustler. Hustles? No, I haven't either. But, I haven't either. You know, but I, I heard I, it's really good. Though. I saw him play at. Uh, I mean, I watched the movie, The Longest Yard. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He can yeah. ball. He, he can, can ball. ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Longest ball. Yard is fucking. Adam Sandler is another great. Uh, even though he's like funny and silly, you're another an asshole. Did you yeah. watch Click and did you cry? So did I. Yeah. No. Same. I totally cried. I cried I, like a little I, bitch. Oh god, I cried so hard. Oh. oh, you know, oh. What was I watching? Oh fuck, dude. What was I watching? I watched something recently and I was like. Oh God! I didn't cry, I didn't cry, I didn't cry, I didn't cry. Human centipede. Yeah. I mean, you cried. Ah, <laughs> you didn't cry through the human centipede. No. Fucking what was I watching? I don't know, but if you want to cry, instructions not included. Eugenio Derbez. Eugenio Derbez. You yeah. got. I like. I'm not even shitting you on that one. Like. I have to watch it with subtitles. And you have to watch the Truman Show. I do. So give me one. Yeah. You, ha you have to watch. Instructions not included. And you American have to watch. Gangster. Really? Yeah. 
watch Mad Men. Okay. Okay, fine. Th- then you, you have to watch The Godfather. Just one okay. movie. I haven't seen that. I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Yeah. I got, there's like a, a million you fucking movies. Because there's all these like dumb movies that you have to watch. Yeah. Well, here, here's but the thing. But that's my fucking alley. And though. this is something yeah. that I told Armando during pandemic. That was it. I just came out with the list of like top it's a hundred movies. But see, and a lot of the movies those. you're talking about, those are like, the, I mean, those are classics, but they're like very serious classics. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I mean, you're talking you gotta, about Shawshank you Redemption, like, yeah, and yeah. Then you're talking about like The Godfather. Well, what yeah, I'm I mean, talking but about, you got to watch some dumb they, movies, dude. Like, well, you got to I mean, watch some like Encino we talk about Man, Pineapple I Express, love Encino and Biodome. I love and Ted. Ted's funny, great. Fuck you, Thunder. I love all those fucking movies. However, I'm going to fucking be honest with you, I'm not a Will Ferrell fan. Like but old school. I, well, talking to you, I figured out that I am. I got. We we're just talking about like, dude, the other guys. I'll Shala give Dega you the Knights. other guys, and I'll give you Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Old school. Old school is so good. Old You're school. You're my boy, Blue. Yes. That's fucking. Oh my uh, what's god. What's uh, Andre uh, from from Outcast comes yeah. out in that Andre movie? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, it's a fucking good movie. Have you seen Be Cool with The Rock and Vince Vaughn? Dude. Be Cool. Uh, yes. Yeah. Fucking Andre Two Thousand yeah. comes out. I Cedric think so. Entertainer. It, yes, was, it wasn't a big movie. It wasn't a b- John Travolta comes out. John in Travolta. It? Yes, in I it. watched it, but it was a good movie. I remember that. I remember that too. But fucking uh, Andre 2000 goes out in that movie yeah. too. Was one of Cedric the Entertainer's gangsters. Andre uh, Andre's uh, one of the best movies. Four, Four brothers. brothers. I'll give you that one Four too. Four brothers. Oh, that was a good, good one. It's Tyrese, yeah. Mark Wahlberg, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, it's a good and Andre, uh, what's yeah. that? What's that guy with the green eyes? He was a cop in that movie. Fuck, uh, I don't know, but that's a good movie. He's one of my sister told me that Mark Wahlberg's racist. Yeah, I, I mean, he had a case back in the day when he was... That's what I'm younger. saying, but I'm like, I, my argument was he's in the movie Four Brothers, and he's the only brother who's not a brother. That was a good yeah, movie, though. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. I remember that was a really good movie. That was a yeah, great yeah, movie. That was a great yeah. movie. Dude, I can't yeah. think of a bad Walk Marlboro oh. movie. What did have I say? You, if you want to go to serious yeah. movies, have you seen... Uh, I can think um, of a few. Oh, fuck. Why can I not? Oh, my God. Have you seen Father Stu? Boondock Saints? I haven't Saints? seen it, no. but I heard it's Have really you seen good. Boondock Saints? Have you seen oh, Boondock Saints? No. No. Jesus fucking Christ. You guys need to watch movie? that movie. Is it the back. Irish people? Yes. With the fucking guy from Walking Dead? Yes, it is. Yes. The guy with the cross, bro. Yes. Yes. I've seen Say it once. to my little friend. Oh, it's so Doesn't, yeah. Isn't, yeah. isn't the, the Green Goblin's dad in the movie, too? Yes. Yeah. And he plays a fucking... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to give that. What, away. What the fuck you need is to watch name? that movie, dude. What the yeah. fuck is his name? Oh god, I can't remember his the, name. The the dad, the Harry Osborn's dad, Oscorp Productions from the original yeah, Spider Man. I, 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 rem- I can't remember his name, but he's such a great. He's a super underrated actor. Yeah, he, he really he's is. Great. He has like a creepy smile when he talks yeah. to you like this. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. He's a Green Goblin. Yeah. The Green Goblin. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. what's, what's his name? I cannot think of his uh, fucking name. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, but he's someone that, I know him, that yes, people don't talk yes. about him enough. He's no, no, he's great. great. But I mean, you, you see him and in a movie. And if you say his name, I, his, I know yeah. who he, he is. He recently came can't... out in a in a scary, scary, well, no, scary movie uh, with uh, what's that dude from Twilight? The the main guy, Edward. Edward. Yeah. Uh, him and and the Green Goblin isn't came out he, in a great he movie. Is he the new Batman? By the way. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, which which is yeah, it's hard. But also, you got he's Ben vampire, Affleck. So he's already a bat. Anyways, you got Ben Affleck, and then you got Christian Bale, and then you got the dude from Twilight. Fucking Edward. I mean, you go from yeah. vampire to Batman. Why not? Yeah, Transition, I guess. Better than Jacob. Be- oh, uh, Heath Ledger, though. Guys, Joker. Uh, okay. Yes. No. Never be a better Joker. There fun never, fact. No. Fun yeah. fact. Yeah. You met him. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Oh wow! We talked about this. Yeah, fucking shithead. Like you were talking um, about, like Joaquin Phoenix. So give me, give me that. which movie? Narrow it down. Which one uh, you want to miss? You can't, dude. We can't. I mean, give me one to watch. You have homework. Truman Sha- Show, Shawshank Redemption. I'll watch it. Watch Shawshank Do you agree with him that I should watch Shawshank? Yes, you definitely should watch. Okay, it. I'll watch that. Fantastic one. movie. Great I'll movie. Ta- uh, second one of all time. Uh, uh, on on like the ratings. Uh, Shawshank Redemption. Is it the really? Go- the Godfather is the first one. God, there was one that we were just talking I'll about. I'll watch both uh, of oh, those for you guys. Okay. You there's, can't watch The Godfather um, without wanting to watch The Godfather. There's a Ben Affleck. Are, are you guys Ben Affleck yeah. fans at all? Not no. Really. Well, I'm a, I'm actually, a J-Lo fan. But, right. Okay. No, he, I watched this movie called Argo Argo with him where uh, he's uh, he, he works for the CIA and he tries to take out the, the people from uh, the uh, U.S. Uh, consulate in Iran. And... Uh, uh, they're trapped in a Canadian embassy, and they don't like their like their Iran government doesn't know that. So he works for the CIA, and they're like, "Hey, you're good at extracting people from crazy situations. We need you to take uh, our uh, uh, you know Americans from from the from from the Canadian consulate." And then he comes out with like this crazy idea that it's like, "There's no way it's gonna work," uh-huh. but it's like so crazy that it's like you'll you would have never guessed. 
That sounds like the fucking movie shooter. Like, it's got to work. You know who's really good, too? Michael Pena. Michael Pena's great, dude. I love he's Michael funny. Pena. He's funny. He's like, he's just, he's funny all the time, I guess. Did and you cry? I did. I did. I did. So, I did. You, you, oh. you cannot not cry. You, yeah. You've seen uh, End, End of, of Watch, Watch, right? Which one? End, End of, of Watch. Watch. Jake Dylan Hall and uh, uh, Michael I, Pena. When they're to cops. And then. Uh, I don't know if I've seen that. You, you, you haven't seen Puto that. Curveside, Puto? Yeah, Curse uh, again, no, Puto. I don't think it, no. Oh, okay. Never mind. You, uh, X, I'm sure uh, I got homework. I'm X, yeah. X uh, instructions not included. Yeah, end of watch, watch. End of watch. It's an action movie that'll make you cry at the end. And laugh. But like, damn, it's tight. And it's uh, based in South Central LA, so you yeah. can relate, motherfucker. It's just brotherhood between two cops, and they're just like, you got Michael Pena being like, the, they're both cool. They're both cool. We'll just come up with all Anyways, this I'm just going to talk to Yancy because I'm not all up on this Well, no, I'm trying really. to figure out the movie. There was a movie that Ben Affleck <laughs> did that was fucking phenomenal, and I think it's The Accountant. But I'm not totally the accountant, sure. Yeah, he, he. I mean, he is on the accountant. Um, but uh, the accountant wasn't he? But is that the one where he's autistic? That's Rain Man. No, 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 no. no. It's not the same. That's JC. It's, uh, or he's like, Rain is, is he autistic? He's something. Oh God, dude! It's a fucking phenomenal movie. I mean, uh, the 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 accountant reminds me of the Kill the Messenger movie. Have you watched that movie? No. So there's this guy that uh, finds out that the CIA is uh, selling drugs in L.A. Uh, to fund the uh, Nicaragua militia uh, oh. to overthrow the government. So is that the, is that the Ricky Ross movie? Yeah, so that's, yeah. A, that's the Rick Ross you know, I asked you about. In it. So, yeah. so Rick Ross actually got sued for using Rick Ross because Rick Ross's name was from Ricky Ross. And Ricky Ross was a drug dealer in L.A., uh, that unknowingly worked for the CIA. This is like the oh, shit. 80s, right? Yeah, yeah. This is back then where where the CIA... I mean, this is something that I, I, I don't know where I read it or got it from, whether it's true or not. Uh, the CIA took a quote up from Pablo Escobar. I mean, really anyone. And uh. and and gave it to you know drug dealers in L.A. And then grabbed that street money, which is not like, recorded anywhere. Just got right. this cash, bought the guns funded the, the Nicaragua militia and they were fighting the communist government in Nicaragua. So that's oh, how they were able to do it without nobody knowing. Like you're not borrowing yeah. money from the government because like, like my taxes, I, you, right. yeah. you're, you're paying taxes to go fight another country, Nicaragua militia. It's like, I don't, I don't know anything. So then they had a big push on that. So then they borrowed that, like they sold it was, it was CIA drugs to drug fund. Money. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. And that's where Ricky Ross came from. I mean, he didn't know he was working for he's like, he just like he just became huge and then he's like, Well, everybody around me is getting caught. Why am I not getting caught? I guess I don't know, it's luck. He didn't know he was working for someone for the CIA. That's fucking awesome. That's yeah, crazy. that's a good it's a really good movie. Kill Kill the Messenger. Uh so so yeah, this guy finds out what's going on and he puts it on the paper, but CIA, so there's no records. Uh -huh. And he finds some records. And he posts it, and then they get deleted, and they, they're they like, nah, the, the counts that he used to publish that paper, they just backtrack. They're like, nah, I didn't say that. So then everyone just is like, you just made up the story. And uh, that's where he's at. Like, he's just stuck in the middle of like, hey, this is where I got, and this is what I know it's true because I heard it from everyone. But then now the, everyone is saying, nah, that's yeah. not me. And I didn't say that. And now he's just, you know, when you're when you're, you're, when you're in the media words. and you're a newspaper, you, yeah, just, yeah. you have to back your stuff you up. You have to have credibility. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you know, everyone saying you made it up. It's like, that's out the door. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, I mean, uh, that's a great that's movie. Fucking, that's where that came that from. Shit, yeah. It's a really good movie. That's another one I'll have to watch. So everybody's got homework. What's your homework? Truman Show? Truman Show. End of Watch. End now, of watch. that's a show or that's a movie? It's a movie it's called a movie. The Truman Show. It's a fantastic yeah. You'll, movie. It makes sense when you watch it. The okay. movie's called The Truman Show. You have, like, it, 20 fucking I know, movies dude. to watch. Oh, well, give me, give me two. If I'll anybody's got two. time, you got time. I'll Shawshank, watch two. Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank. And then American Gangster. American Gangster? Okay. Denzel Washington's great, dude. The King Kong scene on the... What's that? Uh, 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 training Day. Yeah, Training, training Day. day. Training I have seen, seen Training Day. day? Yes, no. oh. It's a really good movie. Okay, I'll watch oh. three movies. Oh, <laughs> ain't got nothing on me. Yeah, that's can't okay. go, got nothing on me. Yeah, that's just, oh, man. Okay. Don't be playing basketball on Pelican Bay. Can I, can I switch American Gangster for Training Day? Training, this week? training yeah. Day is Because then you'll see Denzel Washington's uh, like movie. Yeah, I know it is. Fucked up movie. Okay, I'll watch Training Day and I'll watch Shawshank. I love that movie. Yeah. Put it th put it this way. You got a rookie. You're like, oh, this is the best time of my life. I'm becoming a detective. And you got a 
like like a super seasoned detective, but like, dude, you don't even know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. And I gotta watch Instructions Not Included. If you want two movies, Instructions Not Included and yeah. End of Watch. End, end of, of watch, watch. End of Watch. That's Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Hall. Pena. Michael okay. Pena gets down. I'm actually surprised. And that's, really um, surprised. Yeah, America seen that movie. Ferrera too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. She's funny. Yeah. You know. You know who America Ferrera is? Probably S- not. S- the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. <laughs> oh yeah, I know that is. <laughs> uh, fuck you guys for making me know. Yeah, okay. Well. Ugly Betty. Yeah, it yeah, is ugly. Yeah, Betty. yeah. yeah. Ugly anyway, guys, we're gonna wrap it up right here because we're right, running out of fucking camera time. The I'm Goal sure this shit's all dead right now. I would yeah, say uh, probably just the GoPro going. I would yeah. say follow Yanzi and all of his social medias, but my dog don't yeah, got no. no fucking social medias except Twitter, and uh, that's about it that's actually. About it. So fucking weird. Yeah, dude. but his number no, is five zero three. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, 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 Next yeah, time yeah, we'll yeah. talk about fishing. Next yeah, time we'll talk yeah. about fishing. So, yeah. thank you guys so much for watching the Go Deeper podcast on all social media platforms. Uh, we are Twitter, Instagram, and I don't think we have a Facebook because fuck your fucking Facebook, right? We don't have Facebook. Nah, fuck that shit. So we just got yeah, Twitter yeah, yeah, and Instagram. Yeah. I only use Facebook for fishing, fucking people. Okay, yeah, you, not you fishing fi- people, you fish but people? you know, like uh, you he know, fucking right. fishes people. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna fucking leave it off right here with Matt fishing people. Until next yeah, yeah. time, I'll uh, see you guys in fucking two weeks yeah. or three weeks. Have, or what the fuck have ever. fun and Kelly, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. I'm cool and I'm out. Fuck you guys. <laughs>